Hey, and welcome to the video. Today we're gonna to be uh, learning how to promote ClickBank products on Pinterest. I'm gonna teach you how to pick a product on ClickBank, how to set up your email collection, how to create the video pins and also the static pins, how to build up your squeeze page, and then how to promote your offer so that you can make that cash. Our goal is to collect emails and then follow up with our prospects uh, over time and make those ClickBank sales, okay? So I'll have a link to this uh, file that you're seeing on the screen. In the description of this video, you can go down there and grab it anytime you like, so you can follow along. Uh, and then, and, uh, you know, just go step by step with me, okay? So, the tools and resources you're gonna need your a blog or a website. Basically, you, you can get set up through Bluehost. Uh, those will be affiliate links. And then you've got Pinterest. You're gonna need to set up a business account. And also, you should link your website to your Pinterest account. That way, you can get what's called rich pins. Um, Canva, uh, DaVinci Resolve, which is a free video editing software. Your autoresponder with Aweber, uh, that's what I use Aweber anyways, so that you can follow up with the emails. And then you're gonna need a ClickBank account, okay? So step one, you wanna find your product. And when you go about looking for a product on ClickBank, there's some things that I personally like to look for, like does it have a JV page, this is where I find like the email swipes or the, uh, the creatives or images that I can use uh, for my lander and things like that. Um, is the gravity important? I don't think the gravity is that important. I think it's more, what's more important is the look of it. Again, if it, the gravity is really high and everyone's promoting it, that's a lot of competition. It's just gonna be harder for you. Uh, just make sure that the offer fits your audience and also that it, the, the sales page looks good, that it's on a secure site, and everything just looks legit. Okay, that'd be more important, I think, than the graphic. Uh, the third thing I say is um, you gotta understand Pinterest demographics. When you're going to pick a product on ClickBank to promote, you gotta understand that most of the people on Pinterest are actually uh, women, like mid 20s to mid 20s to like 50s, something like that. So you wanna pick a product according to that. So if you go over to um, ClickBank, um, I've kind of already done a little bit of research and figure out what I wanna to promote today just to save you some time. Uh, I decided to go into the spirituality and uh, more specifically, I, I chose to pick up this product called the uh, Sacral Chakra. And uh, the reason I did that is because on Pinterest, if you type in like how to balance your Sacral Chakra, you can find a lot of content based around that. So if, if you're searching for something else, like if you go in here and this one says Obsidian White Crystal Zodiac Bracelet. So if I type in uh, Zodiac Bracelet, Zodiac Bracelet, if I spell that right. If they don't have a ton of content on there, like this one, there's, there's nothing, then I wouldn't want to get into that because um, you know, there's just no traffic, nobody's searching for that. So that's why I went with how to balance your, your sacral chakra because they've got the things that I need. Uh, like I said here in the, uh, in the thing here, does it have a JV page? The answer is yes, it does, right? Where is that offer at? Right here. It says affiliate page right here, okay? So I click on that, it takes me over to uh, here and it gives me all of the uh, the the swipe files or the, the creatives that I need. So I can get these images, I can use these images if I want, and then I'm gonna use these emails and things like that, so. So that's step one when you're finding your product, just to recap really quickly with you. Does it have a JV page? Make sure it does. Make sure it has those email swipes that you can use, and then make sure that if you're promoting on Pinterest anyway, which that's what we're talking about today, make sure that it's gonna work for that demographic that the, the women might be interested in. Step two is gonna to be to set up your autoresponder. Let me remove this. Set up an autoresponder, your sign-up form, and your import emails. I'll show you how to do that really quick. So for this offer, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new list for it. So company name, website, that's fine. Cinder is Ezra. I'm gonna change this to the Cosmos. And the reason why I changed it to the Cosmos is to be congruent with this one. I believe it says something about the Cosmos in here. Yeah, love the Cosmos. Email three. And we're just going to keep it as the Cosmos. 
All right, and also I'll put a little emoji in there because emojis are cool these days. So let's go with space. Boom, we'll throw that in there. Looks good. All right, we'll go next step. What was that? List name is going to be um, spirituality, sacral chakra. Let's just go with sacral. Sacral chakra. Oops. S or C A J A R A. Here. All right. So with all this stuff, it, you just approve message and click if you want. That's fine. I'm gonna turn off the um, the need to the need to double opt in. I'm just gonna make it a single opt in form. So to do that, I go to list options. I go to list settings. I'll go to confirmation message right here. All. Okay. Try and click that again. And I'm gonna turn that off. Yes. Save my settings. All right, so we've got our list set up. All right, let's go home. All right, let's do a sign up form. Let's create a sign up form for these guys. All right, we're gonna do the sign up form and then we're gonna import the emails. Okay, create a sign up form. This is very easy to do, it doesn't take too much time. Um, I won't collect their names. I will just go for the email. And delete all that stuff. All right, save your form. Go to step two. All right, and we're gonna change this to balancing. Balance your chakra. All right, and thank you page, we're gonna send them to the custom URL, which is gonna be uh, the offer itself. Um, let me just get the, the link directly, so. Go to promote, I'll just leave it, it's fine. I'll generate my hop link, I'll copy that. I'll take that over to here and paste it right in here. So after someone signs up on the, on the opt-in form, then they'll go from the opt-in form directly to the QuickBank offer, okay? If they've already subscribed, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna send them over to the, the offer. All right, save your form. Go to step three. And then I will install the form directly. I'm gonna get the raw HTML. Now, if you were to get the JavaScript snippet, like this one right here, it's still gonna have the double opt-in, so you wanna do the raw HTML. That way you'll have the single opt-in, okay? And I will just copy this and keep it for later, okay? All right, next thing we need to do is import those emails. So again, when you go to the offer and it says the affiliate page, you click on that affiliate page for any offer you're promoting. Uh, if they don't have email swipes, then I, I wouldn't promote it personally unless you're pretty good at copy. So anyway, here we go. Subject, can I pay your shipping? All right. It looks fine. I'll copy that. We'll go over here. We'll go to messages. Let's go to drafts, legacy follow up series. And we'll do drag and drop email builder. Okay, so here we're going to insert our subject line. I'm going to capitalize that because it just looks better. Can I pay your shipping? All right, that looks fine. And then we'll go over here, we'll copy this stuff. Hi, first name, I hope you're blah, blah, blah. Go to this point right here. Copy that, I'll bring it in here, and I'll just paste it in. And I'll do the same thing for all of those emails. I'm not gonna do it all right now because they're just gonna take too much of your time. You get the idea, you're just gonna copy paste those in. And I would suggest that you kind of change it up a little bit, change them uh, just slightly so that you don't get, you know, sent into the spam folder because if there's other affiliates that are promoting the same offer doing the exact same email swipes, using the exact same email swipes, then <laughs> the systems are going to pick that up as spam, especially like Google, they're going to see that that's like uh, duplicate content and they're going to send it into the promotions folder so you, the person probably won't even see it. So definitely change it up a little bit. 
So I grab the image, I'll put that under here. And let me upload the image. Pictures that was in camera roll. It's called blank box. There it is. Put that up. Okay. There it is. Alright. Paragraph down below. Paste that in there. Throw my name in here. We are going by the Cosmos. Okay. That's fine. Put this at the bottom. Alright. Save and exit. Alright. Add to follow up series. Okay. So now our email portion is done. We are ready to go on this end. The next thing that we need to do, step number three, is going to be, let me see if I can get this open here. All right, we're gonna do our creatives. We're gonna do the static pins, and also we're gonna create a video pin. Now to create a video pin, is pretty easy. I've done a tutorial on that and the link to the tutorial is going to be in these, uh, the show notes or this little document, which again is in the description of this video, okay? So next thing I'm gonna do is, I'll just do the static pin first. So we got Canva open up. I'm gonna go to Pinterest graphic. I will, uh, let's see. I wanna do something similar to this one. They got this orange color. And I'm basically going to be like how to balance your um, how to balance your sacral chakra is what I'm going for. Okay, I like this pin setup, so I'm going to do something similar to it. So let's go with this. Where are we at? Right here. Let's do the background first. Got this. We'll do this pattern. It's got that orange color to it, so that's that's cool. I like it. Uh, let's throw text in there. How to balance your sacral chakra. this one it's a JPEG download you can download as a PNG or JPEG it's totally up to you the PNG is going to be a bigger file so it's just going to take longer for it to uh, load up and uh, JPEG is just a little bit faster if you're putting it on your website I would suggest you do JPEG if you're going to put it on Pinterest directly to Pinterest uh, you could probably go with the with the uh, PNG all right, now we're gonna also use this for our video pen. Video pens tend to do a lot better, for me anyway, on Pinterest. So in order to do that, I'm just gonna uh, cancel that out. The background, I'm gonna delete the background also. I'm going to go into, where is it? Elements, let me close that. I'm gonna grab this bad boy. And I'm gonna do like this, just to keep it simple. And then I'll throw this to the back. Okay, how to balance your chakra. Let's make it that orange color. Uh, let's go with the, yeah, this one. Okay. And I want to download transparent background, just page number two. And I'm gonna click done. Okay, download that. So that one's gonna be our video pin. Video pin's doing really well on Pinterest right now. I get, I get a lot of traffic from my video pins. So do those chakra video pin. Save that. Okay, so after you've done your creatives, we're gonna move on to step number four. This is to build your page or your blog post. Uh, personally, I like to use Thrive Architect. I'm gonna go here real quick. Uh, where was I? Okay, back over here. 
Uh, you want to keep it simple and make sure that it's mobile friendly because a lot of folks that come from Pinterest are actually going to be on their phone. You might even be watching this from your phone. So to create the, the page, because we're going to do the opt-in form, right? We're just going to name this one uh, Sacral Chakra. Just name it Sacral Chakra. That's fine. Uh, we'll do a featured image for the page, although that's not very important right now. I'll add that one in. And save it as a draft. And then I'm going to launch Thrive Architect. And that's going to bring up the, the page itself. And I'm going to edit the page to make it you know, ready to go for, for folks to opt in and uh, get started. So let me change the template. I'm going to just do, uh, you can choose any of their templates that they have. Um, I find this one pretty good because it's, it's super simple. So I'll just grab this one for today. And I'll change out those colors to be like that cool little orange color that they're using here. Yeah, I can close that out. I don't need that either. Attention spirit procedures. Get this beautiful model made specifically for your sacred chakra. It's not on sex. Here's why you need to balance. Why you need, okay, discover why you need to balance sacral chakra. I'm going to go with that. And how to get one. All right, I'm gonna copy that right there. Go over to here, and I'll paste that in. Let me bring this font size down. Discover why you need a balanced sacral chakra, and how to get one. Um, I need to get that that form, so I'm gonna to go to connect to form, uh, switch to HTML integration. Go back here. Control A, Control C. Control V, continue, and we're good right there. All right, so I'm saving this form right now, or saving this page, so I'll do good and done. I'll publish it, and I'll click view the page, and that's that. All right, so step four is complete. We're gonna move on to step five, which is going to be to promote it on Pinterest. So when you go to Pinterest, make sure you set yourself up as a business account. And you come up here and you're gonna click this little red um, icon right here that says create pin. Click that. And then you're gonna drag and drop your creatives into here. I, again, I highly recommend that you set up a, a video pin. Again, I have the, the, the tutorial for that in the description. Or actually it's in the document so you can check that out. Copy that, throw it in here, add link destination. Throw your title in there, how to balance your sacral chakra. Okay. Again, I'll just do that. How to balance and perfect your sacral chakra. Get a free And then you're just going to go ahead and select the board that you want to save it to. I'm going to put it on, I guess, best for them. It's fine. Put it on there. And that's it. Now, if you wanted to, you could promote your pin. You could, you know, spend a little bit of money to promote it to get it out there. Um, so that's totally up to you. You click on this. You can spend like five bucks a day to drive some traffic. Uh, but basically, once it's out there, someone will click on it. It's going to bring me to the, the, the landing page, the squeeze page. I'm going to put in an email account. Let's do extra at iCloud. I'll submit that. And this should take me from this landing page or squeeze page on over to the offer, which it does. That works. That's great. Now I want to um, check and make sure that the subscribers, let's see, currently subscribe, and refresh that. There's there's that is right there. I tested it just a few minutes ago. Uh, but putting that plus test must have messed something up. But anyway, let me go to my iCloud and see if I got the follow up. 
message from myself. There it is. The Cosmos. Can I pay your shipping? All right. I'll open that up. Looks good. Give me the go ahead. Click on that. It will take me over to the offer, I'm sure. Click on that. And it worked. Alright, I got my hot plug. Alright, everything is working. It's good to go. So, that's basically it, guys. Just to run through it really quickly again. This is how you promote ClickBank products on Pinterest. Now, a few things I would say. Don't direct link your ClickBank uh, hop link to an offer on, on Pinterest because it's probably just going to get suppressed. And no one's going to see it. It's not going to get pushed out. If you do like I did using your own website or a blog post and you have rich pins enabled, then you have a better chance of your pin getting seen by more and more people. Okay, so give it a try. Let me know how it goes for you. Uh, again, the link to this file is in the description so you can you know follow along or do it how you like at your own pace. Uh, you know, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down in the description of the video. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. Peace.